I suppose I had a very similar way of seeing things not long ago. How so? I too believed that science had all the answers. I believed that when science reached steep walls, the answers would be found by intelligent men and women using the trusted scientific method. And as a scientist, this is something you no longer believe? Correct. I'm ready to shed myself of the title scientist. It's unusual that you say such a thing after you've made arguably the most interesting discovery the scientific community may ever see. Saturn's window is certainly a suitable name for the anomaly, but you could very well have justifiably called it Kirchhart's window if you wanted to. You see, I studied our local planetary bodies for most of my life now. The system runs like a finely tuned clock. Everything in it works perfectly. And at this point, there should be no surprises so unexpected, so unexplained, that it makes me question the foundation of science itself. Yet that is exactly what it has done. So what will you do?
Hey, it's me. Just wondering where you are. It's quarter after. Give me a call back. Sorry, we're closed on Sundays. Sorry for the interruption. I realized you're closed, but I just want to see about dancing lessons. It'll only take a minute. Sure, no problem. Great. I mean, they're not for me. They're for my little sister. How old is she? You don't recognize me, do you? Anton? Great, Anton. I'm so glad to hear you're doing so well. Thank you, Ari. I've, uh, I've been working my ass off for quite some time now, and I'm relieved that it's finally starting to take off now, you know? Yeah. Yeah, I, I, I worked my way up to owning this place. I, uh, nice. Teach here all week and then come alone on Sundays to practice. <laughs> Not doing nearly as well as you are, though. Uh, well, you know, I believe you have exactly what it takes to do whatever it is you want to do, Ari. I've always believed in you. I'm really happy for you. Thanks. So, um, are you seeing anybody now, or...? Well, hello, Mr. 25 Minutes Late. Yeah. Uh, sorry, I forgot my phone at home. Didn't know what time it was. It's kind of weird. Is it? Anton. Yeah, sorry. Dorian, this is Anton. We went to college together. <laughs> And now he trades currencies for a hedge fund. He's doing really well. Oh, I got you some tea. Thank you. Watch out, it's hot. Well, it was nice to meet you and Aria. Always a pleasure. Thank you for keeping me company. See you around. Well, I'm sorry for interrupting. Stop it. Are you feeling okay? You're not acting quite like yourself. How so? Well, you were late today. You forgot your phone. You were a little more awkward than usual when I introduced you to Anton. Your hair is messy. You have a nice collection of colognes, which I've always known you to make great use of. But if I were to guess, I'd say you didn't even shower today. None of that sounds like the Dorian Phoenix I know. I'm sorry. I stayed up all night watching this thing on television. You knew we were supposed to meet today. I'm sure you're probably just exhausted and don't even want to talk. Hey, hey, no, no, no. I'm good. Really. We can talk. What you want to talk about? Do you know what today is? Sunday. Do you know what else today is? It's our six month mark. Why would I know that? I've never been with anyone that expected me to say happy semi-anniversary. I'm not saying we should be celebrating. Relax, I just want to talk. I usually have a talk with a guy if I've been seeing him for at least six months. That's very systematic of you. I shouldn't surprise you at this point. Yeah. So basically, this is our six month evaluation. Basically. Well, how am I doing? Great. Everything's great. I mean, except for today, but you say you're tired, so that's probably why you've been acting so weird. Yeah. What about me? What? 
have you been happy? Are you happy with me and the way things are going? Yes, everything's fine, Arya. We don't have to be under a microscope right now. Why don't we just keep playing it by ear? Okay? Wouldn't that be better? Yeah. You're right. Sorry. Probably get some sleep. So, what will you do? What will I do? I know what I won't do. I won't spend the rest of my life pondering questions that will never be answered. Already, I've devoted most of my time to the world of astronomy relentlessly pursuing scientific discovery. Now this single event seems to have more to do with astrology than anything. This astrological anomaly is altering my psychology. I suspect I'm not the only one feeling this way.
do realize it's Sunday morning. Victor, wake up. Oh, Cora. I thought it was my mom calling. What's going on? I need you to meet me at Nina's in one hour. No, I'm going to sleep. I'm serious, Victor. One hour. Oh, my God, why do I put up with you? Because you love me. One hour, okay? <sighs> All right. Where the hell is Cora? You know, I left a beautiful girl naked in her bed to hear this shit, right? Yeah, well, I'm sure if you saved up for another week, you could afford her again. <sighs> oh, okay. Oh, I see. You're afraid. Afraid of what, Cora? You're afraid that this might not be nonsense at all. You're afraid of something so strange happening here that it might shatter this perfect little world that you've settled into. What, you mean this perfect little world called reality? You know, if anything, I'm afraid that you'll end up in a straitjacket if you tell anyone else what you just told me. You are so full of shit. Of course I am. Your intuition has always been on point. So do you think I could talk now without your ego interrupting? Yeah, I'm sorry. Start from the top. I just know that I'm supposed to be right here, right now, to figure this out. Where are you going? Bathroom. Just keep the change. Oh, hey, thanks. Dorian. Phoenix. What about him? Saturn is here for Dorian Phoenix. Uh, okay, when you say Dorian Phoenix, I'm picturing that jackass from music theory class from like three years ago, so I'm not sure if we're on the same page here. Yeah. Well, kind of. I never liked him. Besides me, you hardly like anybody. <laughs> yeah, that is true. He was just in here. He seemed different. I mean, he looked the same, but he was completely different. Yeah, well, it has been a few years since we've seen him, Cora. I don't mean like that. I think I understand.
sound so sleepy. Are you actually in bed this early? Yeah. Um, my sleep schedule is over here. No. It's okay, though. What's up? I said to get some sleep, but that doesn't mean sleep all day and stay up all night again. You have to be ready and alert for tomorrow. Tomorrow? Yes, Dorian, tomorrow. Wow, you're so out of it, aren't you? You have any idea what might be going on tomorrow? No, I don't even know what day it is tomorrow. Tomorrow's Monday. You're meeting my father, remember? Ah, uh, okay. Yeah, right. Yeah, I'll be ready. I promise. That's out of it already. You're being so irresponsible lately. Showing up late, forgetting things, not even knowing what day it is. Out of nowhere, you're acting like this. The day before you meet my father of all days. My father always says to focus on more important things. So forget about Saturn and Science Channel. I looked into it. Everyone realizes it's a hoax, so stop focusing on it. It's embarrassing. And listen, he's going to ask you a lot of questions, so just be ready, okay? Okay. Where'd you go to school? You live around here? Whereabouts? What's your interest in my daughter? Take caution in your tone, son. You like sports? Hockey, asshole. Not football. Did you see that crap the other night on TV? About this Saturn's bullshit? Explain it to me. Because I don't really understand it. What's so interesting about it? You're not one of those fucking freaks, are you? So talk to me a little bit about what's your intentions with my daughter. I need to know what the fuck your deal is, bro. Because let me tell you something. This is my daughter, and she's my world. And if anything happens to her, I'm coming to you. So where's your license? What? So how did the job hunting go today? Good. I'm filling out applications right now. Okay, good. You know this month makes a full year since the last time you had a job. Dad, for, uh... I know. Okay.
Good morning. Were you just outside? Yeah. I just needed some fresh air. What's up? What's going on with you? Nothing. What do you mean? Don't give me that. You're obviously not acting like yourself. You're just going to stand there and say, what do you mean? What the hell was last night about? We were having sex and you weren't even into it. That's not true. I was enjoying myself. You didn't myself. even finish. I don't need this. I don't deserve to be treated like this. Any guy would be thrilled to sleep with me, Dorian. I'm sick of this insulting behavior of yours. I'm not Dorian Phoenix. What? I'm not Dorian Phoenix. I said I'm not Dorian Phoenix. I heard Phoenix. what you said. What the hell does that mean? I mean... I am Dorian Phoenix, but I'm not the Dorian Phoenix you know. Oh God, why am I still listening to this? Why am I even here? Please, sit down. Please. Ever since I watched that interview about Saturn's window, I haven't felt like myself. I am completely aware of the fact that my mannerisms seem different, but I can't help it. I have the memories of Dorian Phoenix, but somehow they don't feel like mine. Nothing feels quite right. Summer's almost over. And you've wasted your entire vacation staying up late, sitting around. You've gained some weight. You're obsessing over this Science Channel interview. It's science fiction, Dorian. And now you screwed up your brain. <laughs> My father is right. Spend your time focusing on more important things. It certainly is an interesting moment in our time. In only two short days, the anomaly will be upon us. This window of opportunity, this trick of light, will surely be a sight never to be forgotten. The rare planetary alignment will magnify a projection of photons to be aimed right at us. And for the first time in our planet's history, humans will be alive to observe the outcome. As the vast majority of our population continues on with their normal routines, Focusing on matters they deem to be more important. The cosmic giants prepare their dance for a show of our lifetimes. And time itself is indeed running out. Regardless of how unimportant or unbelievable this event may be, I truly believe that mental preparation for such a thing is paramount. When the celestial body comes into focus, who knows what effect it may have on the psychology of the unsuspecting.
What are we doing, Cora? We're sitting in your car while you drive. Yeah, you're absolutely correct. You know what else we're doing? What? Wasting gas. No, why don't we just drive to his place now? You know where he lives. Trust me. This is exactly how we should be doing this. You know, I'm probably the only person that's crazy enough to trust you. Hello? Hey. Cora? Yeah. You saw me at Nina's the other day. Do you remember? Yeah. I remember. Cora Cadence, right? Actually, I remember you from a long time ago, too. That's right. Music theory class. Yeah. It's been that long. So, what have you been doing? Can you meet me tonight? Sure. Nina's. 30 minutes from now. So, elementary school teacher, huh? Does that suck or what? Music teacher. It's not that bad, actually. Keeps me afloat. Summer vacations. And I do compose here and there when I have time. What about you? You still play? Uh, yeah, full time. We're working on an album. Okay. Does that suck? It sucks being broke all the time. I hear you. Because you can't have everything. How do you figure? Well, you might be broke, but at least you're spending all your time in music. I might have a steady cash flow, but I always feel like I don't have time. I guess there's always a trade-off somewhere in life. What else do you feel like you're trading off? Fine, if you ask. Lately, I've felt like I've traded lives with somebody else. <laughs> what? Saturn's window. Ever since the shit with Saturn windows happened, you feel like you don't belong How here. How do you know that? I don't know that. She knew that. Everything in your life is familiar yet simultaneously foreign. You feel like you don't belong. And your gut tells you that it has something to do with Saturn's window. What are you, psychic? <laughs> exactly, dude. She's my psychic sidekick. I'm not psychic. Just know how to listen. Listen to things beyond the surface. Beyond the surface? Beyond the surface of the basic conscious mind. If most people go around day by day only focusing on the here and now. Their surface minds. There's an inner mind that is far more active and receptive to anything else. The subconscious mind. Sorry, couldn't help myself. By all means, Victor, please, take the floor. You see, Cora's weird. I mean, I'm weird too, but she's like borderline alien from another freaking planet. Weird. You know, while other people are doing normal things, she's at home studying esoteric subjects on a computer all day. You know, while other people are sleeping, she's tripping on meditation. While other people are... Dreaming, she's astral projecting and communicating to beings from other dimensions. I kid you not, dude. I mean, how do you think she knows all this stuff about you? She's been communicating with Saturn. Everything has something to say. Just have to know how to listen. It's a waste of time. He's not going to believe any of this. That's not true. I believe you. What does Saturn want with me? I don't have all the answers. Saturn is vague in its communications. But it does tell me that you came from Saturn and something has made you forget who you are. Who am I? 
according to Saturn. You're a god. Yeah, well, that's where shit kind of falls apart for me. Just being honest. How can that be, though? I know I'm from here. I have memories of being a kid. I have memories of, of going to Scotty Elementary School. Those aren't your memories. Those are the memories of the Dorian Phoenix of this world. The real Dorian Phoenix lies deep in the subconscious mind. You took his place on the surface. His lingering memories cause you to forget everything else. I'm not denying. Just taking it all in. Still. I guess my surface mind is fighting it. But it does resonate truth. What should I do? What should I do? You need to go back to Saturn. Saturn tells me that you're a god from another world, and your existence on our reality will soon end. That's what the Saturn's window event is all about. The astral body of that planet will be here to guide you back to your place of origin. There's very specific intention behind this anomaly. It's not just some random astronomical cycle for spectators. And our meeting in this cafe is all part of a much bigger plan. My purpose here is to make sure your soul is out of your body so that you can ascend to Saturn during the short window of opportunity we'll have. To do that, I'm going to guide you through a meditation that will allow you to astral project and make your ascension. I know what you're thinking. You think you can't do this, but don't worry. You're a god, remember? I bet there's a whole lot more you're capable of. You just don't know yet. Let's meet at the park tomorrow so we can prepare. One way or another, we'll make sure you ascend. Tombe, pot of red. Tear double. And close. And again. CA. Tombe, pot of red. Prepare. And finish. Lovely. Try it once on your own. Faith, you're in charge. So now you don't return my calls? I'm sorry. I keep forgetting to keep my phone near me. And by the time I see you, I'm Bullshit. Call. No, I don't even have my phone with me right now. Why do you keep doing that? I don't, I don't know. I'm just... My thoughts are all scattered and, and I guess I'm forgetting the little things. I don't have time for this, Dorian. I know. Do you want to meet up later? Fine. Come by after class? Well, I was thinking tonight. Why? I'm supposed to be meeting with a couple of friends from college. Yeah. We're gonna go to the park in All right. Day. Whatever. Just meet me when you're done. All right?
You comfortable? Yeah, I'm good. Good. I want you to take your right hand, put this crystal in it, and hold it between us. Bye, Faith. Good work today. Thank you. Now close your eyes. Take very slow and deep breaths. We hear the subtle sound of water on the lake. We hear the movement in the trees. We hear the faint sound of children in the distance. And even further, we hear the sound of jets making chemtrails. Now, let's try our best to disregard all of these sounds and focus only on our breathing. Good old science. Science once told us that an electron will orbit around the nucleus of an atom in the same way that a moon will orbit around a planet. Later discoveries proved that model to be incorrect. Meanwhile, in my earlier days as a teacher, I tested students on those so-called scientific truths. But in recent days, I've come to find that there is no absolute truth. Truth is purely a subjective thing. Now, this anomalous projection of light is that really what it is? A light show for our entertainment? I believe that the strangeness of this anomaly goes much deeper than any of us can possibly imagine. Maybe it's a projection of soul. Yes, a strange statement coming from a scientist. But as I said before, I've given up on science. Humans are complex, intelligent beings. And if the idea of soul suits you, it would be natural to think that all humans have one. But what about celestial bodies? Are they not as complex as us? Perhaps they too have souls. And their natural need to project as some believe we do, is as equally important to them. Perhaps the celestial bodies are not only conscious, but also far more evolved than we are. I would not be surprised if very specific intent is behind the Saturn's window event.
that that's him. Do you want me to tell him to go to hell? Dorian, don't ever call me again. And go to hell. Possibly showing up without calling first? <laughs> Don't worry, I wasn't doing anything. Is everything okay? Yeah, my dad was just bugging the shit out of me. He really needed to get out of there for a minute. Okay. Would you like to invite me in? Yeah, sure. <laughs> I mean, come in. Would you like anything to drink? No, I'm fine. Thank you. to apologize. It's me. I'm awkward. I already know that. I don't think you're awkward. Yes, you do. No, not really.
the hell are you doing, Victor? All right, away. Seriously, what the fuck? They're stalking me now? Come on, don't be ridiculous. I was just at the deli back there, and you happened to be walking by as I was about to go home. I find that hard to believe. Whatever, believe what you want. Have a bagel while you're at it. So should we be stopping by Planned Parenthood for their morning after deal right now? That is really insulting you. You know I'm only playing with you. I'm sure you're smart enough to use a condom. Enough already. Hey, 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 sorry. You know, I can tell that you like him, though. You know, which I don't really understand. I always thought he was kind of a dick. He's not the same Dorian Phoenix from Theory Class. But he is. Or, I mean, I know you don't want to think so, you want to believe that he's something special, but trust me, you are going to be disappointed. Great. So this is Victor's ego talking. Oh, please, enough with that shit. This is the voice of reason, Cora. There is no ego oh, here. of course not. None whatsoever. I'm sorry, I guess I'm just a fucking idiot. What was I thinking? You know, I know exactly what you're doing. Tell me what it is I'm doing, because you know so much better than you're me. looking for an exit. You know, you think that the Saturn's Windows bullshit is a way out. <laughs> No, really, just admit it. You're so completely obsessed with escaping reality that you think that this hoax is gonna actually turn out to be something. Meanwhile, everyone else clearly sees how fucking ridiculous it is. Shit. You believe it too. No, no, I tried to believe it because I didn't want to believe that you were insane, but you know, I'm done lying to myself. Shut up, Victor. You know, and I don't want to hear any more shit about Dorian Phoenix of all people being some kind of a god because that right there is absolutely grief fucking this. Shut up! I was out looking for jobs, Dad. Okay. Is everything all right? I was thinking about your mother today. I know I should have paid more attention to things. Anyway. I love you, Cora.
That Saturn's window thing is supposed to happen tonight. Yeah, I know. Whoa, look at you. Where are you heading off to looking so absolutely glamorous this evening? Ah, oh, and a beautiful smile to top it off. It's been a long time since I've seen you look like that, Cora. Yeah, I know. See you later. Sorry, Anton, I'm almost ready. Going on a date? You look great. Can we talk? Aria, I don't even know why you're so angry. At least say something. Shut the door on your way out. Where have you been? We've got to go. We should have been meditating by now. I'm sorry. I didn't think it was going to be this fast. Well, we don't have much time, Dorian. 
Come on, slow down. You gotta catch your breath. And we've gotta focus. I'm trying, I'm trying. Okay, let's go. Come on, close your eyes. And focus. Hey, Cora. Victor, what the hell? What are you doing here? You cannot be here right now. Don't be ridiculous, of course I can. Are you serious? Yeah, I'm serious. What are you doing, Victor? Victor, please don't do this. Why not? He's a god, right? I say let's test out his godlike powers. Still think he's a god, Cora? sure you ascend.
Find 